Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Tactical Talks. So a couple of videos ago, I posted a video of a new pistol brace that I got for my AR-15 pistol. It was the SB Tactical, I think it was a SB3 or something like that, I don't remember off the top of my head. But anyways, I posted that, I got a lot of uh, positive feedback about that, and I just fell in love with that pistol brace. So I went out and bought another SB product, but this one, is it made for an AR? Hang out and I'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing. Uh, 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 All right, so what are we gonna be putting this brace on? If you guys are paying close enough attention, it says TAC-14 down here at the bottom. For those of you who don't know what a TAC-14 is, it is a Remington 870 model based TAC-14. Handheld right here. This is the uh, has been dubbed the zombie killer. I had a chainsaw piece that went over the top. I took that off because it was actually getting in the way more than it was, you know, function. It looked cool for a little while, but it was just big, bulky. When I would have this in my room, I thought about, you know, I had this in my room for a little while as a home protection weapon because it's small. It's easier to get around corners. But the thing about this is, in my house, it's fine because I'm not necessarily aiming at a smaller target. If a person size, I say person size, if a person comes into the house and they need to get shot, this thing will do it. I can just put this face down the hallway and anything at the end of that hallway is going to take the brunt of this force. However, I don't want this to just be a one purpose firearm. I wanted this to, uh, I want to be able to go out and have fun with this. And when I go out and shoot this, I mean, again, it is fun, but it's just a lot of from the hip. Now I have seen videos and stuff of guys bringing this up here. That's dumb to me. Just my personal opinion, that's not what I wanna do. So if you give me a second, what we're gonna be doing is removing this pistol grip style bird's head handle off the back. And then we're gonna be putting this on and I'll give you guys my initial thoughts on this new um, SBA brace. All right, so I got this thing installed. So that's what it looks like. I know it's kinda of hard to get the whole thing in frame. Um, I'm gonna have to measure this. I don't have a tape measure on me right now, but I'm gonna have to measure this and I'll get you guys the entire length front to back. For those of you safety freaks, we are clear right now. There are some on the saddle, but none in the actual firearm. Now, like I talked about in the first video I ever posted about buying this firearm, this is a firearm, not a gun, not a rifle, definitely not a shotgun. Now, this is based off of a shotgun frame, the Remington 870. It functions the same exact way and it uses the same exact ammunition this is a 12 gauge version but it's not a shotgun it's a firearm this is not a buttstock it's a pistol brace and I'm not gonna get into all of that all the specifics and all that stuff if you guys want to learn more about that you can search other videos or you can just look up anything on the ATF and they've deemed what's a, uh, a uh, arm brace what's a buttstock all that other kind of stuff but I gotta tell you, this thing is nice. Now, I like upgrading things, obviously, just adding an upgrade to this firearm. And I may even upgrade the upgrades. So this came with its own pistol grip, but this uses the same, so this little piece right here is the ergo grip or ergo piece, ergo adapter, I think is what it was called. And the cool thing about this thing is, this essentially adds the same housing or, uh, adapter for any AR-15 pistol grip and then adds a buffer tube to the back. So any AR parts as far as AR um, pistol braces and AR pistol grips I can put on here on this firearm. This is a lot more comfortable, a lot better, a lot shorter than my full size Remington 870. Now I know some of you guys are going to say you're not supposed to be shouldering it, all that stuff. The ATF is deemed this is not Again, and not a buttstock. It was not intended to be shouldered. However, if you do end up shouldering it, whether it's through firing or whatever the other, whatever the case is, if it does end up being shouldered, it does not change its original purpose. So you're okay to shoulder it. It's still a pistol brace. It doesn't change what it is. But I gotta say, man, I love this thing. I know a lot of you guys are like, well, you already have an 870. Why would you build this? Well, this is a lot shorter, a lot smaller package. A lot of people use this as a home defense, easier to, to clear 
rooms, buildings, get around corners quicker. And on top of that, this thing fits a lot better in a, um, in a vehicle. So a lot of people are using these as truck guns. The other thing that I might do, I was looking into, they have adapters for buffer tubes in order to be able to fold your buffer tube. Now, if you go with somebody like Law Tactical, there's so much functionality in that because the bolt obviously does kick back into the buffer tube, the buffer spring, all that kind of stuff. This doesn't have any of that. This is just here as an adapter to be able to put a brace on the back of it. So I don't have to worry about things flowing through here. So I don't have to go out and buy a big name brand folding adapter. I can just go get a cheaper version, spend less than $100 because some of those other adapters are anywhere from $150 to $200. And I can spend a lot less money and still be able to fold the buttstock or the pistol brace in this case on this firearm and have it still fold up to even smaller package. But when and if I needed it, I can kick it back open, put it here, and I'm ready to go again. So I gotta tell you, SB Tactical, in my personal opinion, is killing it right now as far as pistol braces. Um, like I said, I put the, the other pistol brace, I believe it's the SBA-3 on my AR-15. If you guys haven't seen that, go check that video out. And then now this SB Tactical um, pistol brace and adapter setup on this Remington 870 TAC-14. I have more plans for this thing. It's a little bit dirty right now. I have not been shooting it. It's been sitting at the house, like I said, as a home defense weapon. But I do want to add an optic to this. And then, like everything else, probably add a light to this. It's just what I like doing. All my weapons, I like consistency throughout. Even though I don't use the same exact light every time or I don't use the same exact um, sight every time, I do like having upgraded sights and lights on all of my firearms, whether that be rifle, pistol, firearm, shotguns. I mean... I just enjoy adding and upgrading. So let me know what you guys think of this. This is kind of a short video, kind of my first initial thoughts on this. I've been seeing this thing for a while. And, and again, like I told you guys in the other video, I've never been a huge fan of using this as an actual arm brace and strapping it to your arm. Not necessarily my style, but I don't mind how this looks. I think that looks clean. Um, it's got a rubberized material, it's padded. So if this does end up here on my face and I'm shooting, it's not gonna hurt, it's not gonna scratch my face or anything like that. It feels good. Let me know what you guys think. What pistol grip should I put on this? Should I leave this brace on here? Or should I just use the adapter and put a different brace on here? I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I don't mind the look right now. I think it looks good, it looks clean. All black, everything, that's how I like all my stuff. But let me know, comment down below. I have the the four shell saddle sitting on the side it's it's a smaller firearm of course even when i had the the bird's head piece on the back it made it even smaller than what it is now but because it was so small i didn't want a big old saddle on the side that had seven eight shells like i wasn't trying to make this a, a big old deal but i did want a couple extra shells on the side so that's why we did this so let me know what you guys think what should come next for this thing do you like this setup? Do you not? I mean, for me personally, I think it feels good so far. Now we got to take this thing out to the range and shoot it. And then I'll make my final determination. I'll do a, uh, not really a first mag, maybe a first tube impression, is what we'll call it, with a new setup. But I can tell you right now, it feels good. It's comfortable. I like it. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this. Thank you guys for watching Tactical Talks. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Click the links down below if you want to check out my Patreon, if you want to check out my second YouTube channel. It's all vlogging, all my family stuff, kind of behind the scenes stuff. And then check out my Teespring account down there below if you guys want to buy some JLV86 merch. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.